Hey, what's going Facebook family? Got a little fit tip for you about personal training and why you won't you won't lose weight using an expensive overpriced personal trainer. Yes, I'm going to go there. I might actually cause up a little bit of a, a, a stir, maybe even from some of my colleagues or maybe there's a few of them out there on my Facebook that are personal trainers. And uh, how could you say that, Mark? Uh, weren't you a personal trainer? Yes, I was that overpriced, <laughs> expensive personal trainer. And I wanna share with you a bit of knowledge if you're considering hiring a personal trainer for weight loss. I think it's gonna be very important, especially from the mouth of a personal trainer who's been a personal trainer. I don't currently personal train any more clients. I offer something different. And if you wanna know more about that, we can talk. But most importantly, if you're thinking about in this new year, because this is a new year, new you, 2021, it's going to be different, right? The resolution list is there. You're going to hire yourself a personal trainer and you're going to lose that weight. And I want you just to kind of heed this warning. And I, I don't know if it's still there. You see that? You see that right there? I just want you to know because that's part of it. See that? You can see it's wet, right? It is a little bit sprinkling, but that's not there. There was something there before, but you don't see it now. And that's part of it. But I want to share with you from having over 25 years, actually really 21 years of personal training experience. My first personal training client was in 1995. At that time, I was working for a community center. The rate at that time, I believe, is about $20 a session. And I did one-on-one -on -one personal in-person training back in 95. Now, I didn't see all that money. The gym that I worked for saw some of it, and then I saw some of it, right? They got a percentage because I worked at the gym. That's typically what most trainers who work out of gyms um, get. You pay a certain fee for the trainer, and then, of course, the cost goes to the the people that own the facility or if it's a gym or what have you, right? That's just kind of the case. So I say overpriced over uh, or expensive personal trainer. Now, my rate that back then was 95. Now, I know now the average rate, so we're just talking about how much we're talking about to lose weight by, mind you, and why you're not going to lose weight with an overpriced expensive personal trainer. And I'll get to that in just a moment. So hang with me here for a moment. And this isn't my opinion. This is truth because I've seen it. I witnessed it. I worked with tons and tons of people I've saw and I've had trainers, tons and tons of trainers that have been around um, my world for the last, you know, half of my good part of my entire adult life. And um, also with the expense now being probably a good personal trainer is going to run you anywhere. I said a good qualified experience. You probably won't get on their schedule if they're a good trainer anyway. They're going to probably have a full schedule because you know they're as good as the hour of the time that you spend with them or half hour or what have you. But a good trainer now anywhere from probably 70 up to 80, 90. Now I'll just tell you what I commanded for my fee in personal training. Don't be impressed. I don't get that now. I'm not a personal trainer. But when I owned my gym and I had trainers working for me, I had people paying me $125 a session for personal training. That was an hour of my expertise and time. Somebody with 20 years experience, I'm working specifically on them. Now I say this because the, the title is losing weight. Now, if you're thinking about hiring a personal trainer to lose weight, why this is not going to be a good investment is because of this. And it's because of that little stain. Now, what was on there before, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you. This is my day's bread. It actually isn't very good. I don't know why. I think the bread may be not that great. I like Dave's bread. Um, again, I'm not here to promote Dave's bread or anything, but it's a type of bread. It's a, a high grain. It's a little bit dry. I got some peanut butter, a little bit of honey on there. Here's the reason. Not for you to, to sit here and listen to me talk while I'm eating. Excuse me. I'll cover my mouth. The reason why you're not going to lose weight with your overpriced, expensive personal trainer is this. Your trainer's job is to train you, to work you out. When you go to a training session, this is the goal of a personal trainer. Like ideally what the trainer's goal and what you hire him for is to work with you for the time. I'm talking about in-personal person training. You go to a gym, you go to a training facility and you work one-on-one -on -one or maybe even a small group. Is you're paying for the time and expertise that you spend with that trainer one-on-one -on -one or in a small group, right? So it's 30 minutes or 60 minutes, somewhere in that range. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for them to keep their eyes on you and make sure you're doing workouts properly, 
I'll make sure maybe to hand you the weights, maybe to wipe the sweat off, to kind of be a, a friend, if you will, to a companion to connect with, to have accountability for your workouts. That's it. That's it. The majority of trainers, I say 90, probably 5% of the in-person personal trainers are equipped to service you for the hour or half hour that you, the time you spend with them. You're paying for their time. You're not paying for them for you to lose weight. So if you're going into this new year thinking that you're going to hire a trainer a couple times a week, two, three times a week, four times a week, and that's how you're going to lose weight, I'm going to tell you right now from a 20-year veteran personal trainer, that's a terrible way to go out. And here's why. Now, mind you, like, no, 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 Mark, but my person, like I did personal training and got some great results. It's not because of the trainer. It isn't. Because the trainer, again, you're paying for them to work you out. It's what happens after the other 23 hours of the day. So say you go to a gym and you have two times a week. The problem, the reason why you won't lose the weight with a personal trainer that you're spending money. Now, don't, I'm not saying you can't benefit and value. Obviously, you can value from having personal training. I would have been able to do it. People got stronger. They were able to get really good workouts in. Great. And they paid for the time. Like that, that's it. They got inspired, motivated, all those types of things. But losing weight, you know, is much more than motivation. You know, it's much more than weight, than workouts, right? You know, it's much more than personal training sessions. Losing weight requires you to do what you need to do the other 23 hours of the day. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense because I can tell you from the years of experience, despite the best training and the best that I had to help for my clients, and I don't think there's anybody that had more training than I did in when it comes to personal training um, and actually education, having a degree in physical therapy and doing all the gold standard certifications. So I commanded a, a high dollar for the time that I spent. The problem was that's it. They paid me for the time that, they, that I spent with them. The rest of the efforts, what, and this is the reason why I say the peanut butter sandwich, they're not holding you accountable for what you eat. Most, most, most. They're not asking you to check in or check in your measurements or doing pictures or having support and accountability outside of the time you spend with them. And that's why in this day and age, there's so many more options. So again, I'm not saying you have to go come to, to my program. In fact, my program is most likely probably not the right fit for you because I actually am only looking for success stories who want full support, not just, hey, show me how to work out because you could do that for free. You can go get on YouTube. You don't have to buy a Peloton or join the membership to get free workouts that are live workouts. You can do those online for free. Same with nutrition plan, right? You and I both know you can get all the great nutrition advice you want. And the 20 million hits that you can get on a Google, you just go Google in. If you want to do keto, you can have a billion and one, one ways to do keto. If you want to do um, uh, macro counting, you can do a billion and one ways, right? And, the, and those are all great things, right? Those can all help. But the problem is you don't have the support. There's no accountability. There's no skin in the game. You don't have somebody that is going to hold your ass to the fire to make sure you get the results, especially a trainer that you're hiring just for the time that you spend with them. So in a nutshell, why I say, and I'm firm believer that you won't, and I'm not saying, can you, is there a possibility? Sure. Even when we had the gym and trainers, people lost weight, but it wasn't so much what we did in the gym, the inspiration, motivation, they had to do the, the action steps necessary to lose the weight. They had to eat properly. They had to make sure they were getting enough calories, not too many calories, not going off the rail on the weekends making sure that their stress was handled well, making sure they were getting enough sleep, making sure that they had, you know, hands, de hands uh, distance, the social distance from people who were going to sabotage their efforts, the friends, they had to do all of those things. And see, when you don't have a plan and a structure for any of that, and you just go into the new year, hiring that trainer and thinking that's going to be your savior, I'm just going to spend a thousand dollars a month on personal training. You know, you're looking at about that. If you're really going to hire a good trainer and work with them one on one, probably six, eight hundred, maybe a thousand bucks a month, you might get some killer workouts. But you're going to come three, four, five months down the road, and be like, why, why, why am I still having a hard time losing weight? This, you know, I, I feel stronger. I really love the workouts. I break a good sweat. And it's awesome and I'm really feeling I'm making great progress. I can do the next kettlebell swings, the next size kettlebells, or I can lift a little heavier weight. And then you're looking at the scale and you're looking at the clothes and they all fit just the same before you hired that trainer. And you're maybe even looking in the mirror and you're saying, you know what? 
for all this money I'm spending, I'm not getting any results. Well, guess what? Because you have to do all of those other things we just talked about. So I want to encourage you when you're thinking about how you're spending your money in the new year, be careful to just think that that's going to be your instantaneous fix. I'll just, I got the money to spend. I'm just going to hire that personal trainer two, three times a week. That's fine. That's going to be all. I had even people come back to me after uh, working with other trainers. I've had people that I've worked with before too, that actually you have to be careful who you hire as well. Like, just so you know, not all trainers are built the same. It's not like you go to a a physician who had formal education, who went to school for maybe to become a surgeon, right? Or a specialist. Like my wife went to school and a master's degree. She went four years of undergrad and then another three years in grad school for her master's in nursing. She went through seven years of training. Guess how long it takes for a personal trainer to become a personal trainer? Legit, there's no standard, there's no standards for personal training. There never really was. Like there may be a gym that might require a certain level or or a certain certification, but you could become right now, you want to start a new profession, you can actually become a personal trainer overnight. You can go online and you can take a certification course and do the studying for a couple hours and then go take the course. If you pass it, you can become a personal trainer and then you can just slap that sticker on or that badge on or get that, that little diploma that's, you know, printed out from your computer and you can call yourself a personal trainer for about $249 and you're good to go. And I would say I just want you to be careful, especially if you are out there going to spend a hard earned dollar, regardless of it being $20 an hour or $200 an hour, anything in between is making sure that you're not just there for the, if you're doing it for weight loss, you might want to look at the overall approach of how that trainer takes you through to help you lose weight. Cause 99, really not 95, 99.9% of them are just there to work you out. Just so you know that they're there to provide a workout for you. That's it. That's what you'll be hired. And that's why I think the age of personal trainer is dying off. Unfortunately, I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Um, if you want help, the real help, if you want a real solution, 2020 is done. One more day, right? The end of the year. Here we are. I have one more spot uh, open for this. I have I pretty much sold out. And I say this not to push anybody's buttons because you're probably not a good fit. But I ran a crazy year end sale. Unfortunately, you if you're listening and you did not have that call beat, you're going to miss out. The good news is I'll be here in the new year. The good news is I'll still be offering my coaching. The bad news is you won't get the deal that you that's on the table right now for I'm ba- basically providing an incredible program for the right person and doing about a half of year of coaching for free. Um, a half of a year of coaching for the right fit. So anyway, keep that in mind. But you can go spend your money on personal training and have at it and good luck. And I hope you find a great one. And if you do, if you need any help on what kind of trainer, you can reach out to me and we can talk about it. Anyway, hope this helped. Take care. Have a blessed day. We'll see you.